Found a flag on Lathe. Rescue a Kerbal from Orbit of Ike. Science data from... Sp okay, that one we can get. Because we're gonna do the jewel mission. Found a flag on Lathe is probably a little bit too ambitious. Let's see how we can put together the jewel mission now that we have this launcher. Crashes constantly come from scene changes. That's usually with RAM. That's if you have mods, though. So... Well, we need to we need to get the Science Junior there. The problem is, that makes this a very tall sort of lander. Well, I guess we'll go for a heavier lander. Yeah, we'll go for a totally different sort of shape. Probably this is gonna catch a lot of drag. Five tons? Yeah, that, that puts it in terrier mode. So, much larger. It is very stable for landers, it's excellent. Yeah, I like this way of doing things. And even better, it puts it gives you obvious places to put lights. Put those fixed fan, uh, panels below the four tanks. Yeah, uh, hold on. Uh, I will uh, put them below two of the four tanks. The other two are gonna get uh, landing lights. Uh, I think Symmetry's gonna play Havoc. Okay, we'll, 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 we'll do all of it. Now, your suggestion about the panels. Okay. And if we do the math, we get 3,500 meters per second. Do I have fairings yet? Yeah, yeah, I have fairings, but they're heavy. We have fairings, but they're heavy. I mean, let's let's uh, do a little test. Let's say we got 6.3 tons of payload here. I put the fairing on. Uh, let's go like that. Let's make it a very tight fairing so that uh, we don't use any mass that we don't need to use. Uh, right? There we go. So it's 6.3 tons, now what is, what is it? It's now 7.6, that's 1.3 tons. I don't think so. Yeah, I shared the weight through opening them, but by that point we've used a ton of Delta V trying to get there. This gives me 1,230. That's not bad. Oh, you know what's gonna happen? These these panels are probably gonna burn off in dual re-entry, aren't they? Well, if we lose them, we lose them. Okay, now we've got the whole clipping of the... It's probably because these are clipping. Let's have fewer, fewer of those in there, and have them not clip the service bay this time. Okay, so they're clear of the service bay, and we'll put more on the outside. These didn't have any heat problems, so we don't have to worry about that, hopefully. Uh, if they burn off, just remember to go plus norm every time before you time warp. Yeah, well, I'll try, I'll try to make the solar panels face the sun, obviously. Uh, last time it was because the solar panels were blocked by the tanks. Um, the adapter isn't full, is that on purpose? Yes. The adapter is not full on purpose because otherwise we'll pass the payload limit for the rocket. This time we should throw some boosters on. Um, but we, uh, so uh, somebody suggested, uh, Mitko was it, uh, who suggested the smallest boosters. The fleas. Well, we could do with anything we can get, so let's toss those on. Uh, why the landing legs? We're landing on Bop. We're landing on Bop. Oh, oh, uh, here, here, yeah, it's reusable. That's right. Um, this is not enough solid fuel to make a difference. Problem is, we're at the mass limit here. 
That'll run about as much time as the flea. What I want to do is uh, get out of the thick part of the atmosphere quick. And I think this is the way to do that. Okay, cutting him in half will probably do. Okay. Alright. Well, that'll give us about 12 seconds worth. So there's Bop Boplander Probe, uh, and we'll say Mainsail SSTO as the launcher. Okay, I'm not seeing any other... Uh, I, I got the staging, so... It looks stupid, but I don't have the 2.5 meter service bay, and it'd be heavier anyway. It looks a lot stupider to have the Probodobodyne in the center. I mean, that's my only probe core. I've only got the Probodobodyne. So, uh, having it without the service bay looks even worse. We are going to retry a launch to Jewel and then to Bop. We have to land on Bop, but we have to go by way of Val and Tylo, because we have to... We have to orbit Val... Oh, uh, actually, we should orbit Val after landing on Bop. Come to think of it. Well, anyway, we'll uh, bounce around uh, Tylo and then head over to Bop, and then we'll have to have some fuel left over to get to Val Orbit. Val Orbit will be a little bit difficult, come to think of it, with, with this anyway. Okay, uh, let's take it out and see if it works. Oh, wait, uh, some, somebody else said something. Uh, 1.5 meter decoupler with the struts going from SAS to above fuel adapter. Oh, uh, the smaller decoupler. Oh, okay, 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 okay. I get it. That is not a bad idea. Oh, shoot. And fewer struts as well. Let's go with the full 8 here. Okay, does this look all right now? Staging should still be fair. I'll save this. Okay, like to think that the service bay has a dented in wizard hat on it. Okay, very rinse wind sort of thing. Uh, the chatterer mod has been updated to include female Kerbal voices. Excellent. They just have to pitch shift a few of them actually, right? Uh, Make sure I update before the next EDB flight test. Um, EDB flight test. Which EDB? Which series are you are you talking about? If I will be f piloting, because this this is fully stock right here. This looks less stupid. Okay, fair enough. Okay, well I mean we could create an enclosed section if I really wanted to with the with the wing connectors, but let's not get too complicated. Uh, that would be mass anyway. Much mass. 0.2, probably need six of them at least for 1.2. Anyway, let's take it out to launch pad. Oh, what am I doing? We need to uh, time warp to Joule phase angle. Okay, we'll be leaving this on the launch pad for an extended period of time. I hope it doesn't mind. Ooh, it wiggles a bit. Okay, uh, space center. Okay, did a quick test. 48 ton rocket with 3,600 dV first stage, straight up burn with a fairing AP at 776 without fairing. Okay. And you drop the fairing at 30 kilometers. Yep. Well, I mean, I didn't. Uh, I didn't think the result would be otherwise. Okay, well, I think I passed it. So much for having a protractor. Uh, it should be 96 degrees. Uh, we, we got 90 instead. I was reading the comments, but it's fine. Hitting Jewel is easy. Hello, don't we have a rocket on launch pad? Yes. Okay. We will fly. 
All right, now we can go. Wait, are we... Okay... My video preview is not working right now, so... Everything okay out there? Okay, everything good? Alright, thanks. Oh dear, this is... Uh, the prograde vector is going down faster than I want it to. That little kick in the beginning didn't really help that much. Okay, I think I can work with this. Should have launched at a better time of day, though. Oh, oh, come on. Down, 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 down. What you got? Uh, yeah, uh, initial ascent, you can go up steeper initially. But uh, if you try and do that later on, then you're bound to flip out, especially when you're starting to break Mach 1. Trust me, I have a lot of experience with flipping out. That is something I have done way too much of. I was not going fast enough to flip out, so's you know. <laughs> Come on. I'm not gonna take that risk. EDB Mission Control Series, that's your favorite. Ah, well, that that I have some some RAM issues with. The problem, the reason why I haven't done more EDB Mission Control Series episodes is because the install crashes constantly. It's just like that, the Atomic. So, yep, that's why that series has not progressed. It's just a totally issue-filled installation. Got close a little bit more to the new Apoapsis and try and be... Let's see, I, I don't know if we have enough to bring it down if I continue burning. I think I'm gonna separate the payload and then try and deal with it without the payload. Okay, so, uh, yeah, we're separating the payload now. Everything looks good. Alright, and igniting the engine. Okay. We can, uh, can get the lights on. Alright. Got a little bit more reaction wheel control. And we're still close to Apoapsis prior to getting into orbit. Okay, well that's good enough for now. We don't need to go too far. Let's see, is that still in uh, range? Yeah. Okay, so we'll bring this down. Well, this is perplexing. Should I boost up or shall I <laughs> just leave it be? It's gonna probably miss anywhere near KSC anyway. Let me just do a quick little test burn. That's no, not that bad. Let's ship. Let's get just outside the... there we go. Oh, uh, we're so low. Maybe... 35 kilometers. Okay, maybe that. Uh, no, uh, let's... Let's go a little higher than that. Guys, we're gonna be hitting the atmosphere right away. Thirty-six kilometers, I'll say. Okay. I do not generally try and bring stuff in from this altitude.
I'm usually at least 80 kilometers, so... We are probably going to land short. Hurry up and wait. I'm trying. I'm waiting as fast as I can. Oh yeah, well this is not the slowest re-entry. Heck, I started out on... Oh, we're totally gonna miss the home content, by the way. Um, I started... The first streams I did were uh, space shuttle re-entry testings with the CSS Space Shuttle and Realism Overhaul. Those take like 45 minutes apiece. Every re-entry test 45 minutes. And you can't time warp through it, of course. I mean, you can do physical time warp, but not that much. Those take forever. Trying to get the space shuttle back to Cape Canaveral is still something I have not done. Bob Fish once said that RSS is more about watching the rocket craft than flying it. Yep. Yep. Still working? Okay. Yeah, yeah, it was just a uh, uh, Twitch messed with me for a sec there. Okay, first set of parachutes. Out they go. We now have more parachutes, so hopefully we'll be slower. Okay, looks vertical to me. SAS on. Okay, full parachute deployment brings us to 6.2 to 3. I'll wait a little bit before running the engines, otherwise we're going to lose fuel pretty quickly. Okay, come on. I'm running out of fuel. Alright. Looks stable. Recovering. Ha <laughs> ha! Ah, Dark Chaos is back just in time for non destruction. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Nigel was uh, rooting for destruction on your behalf, Dark Chaos. Unfortunately, it didn't happen. Okay, so we recovered 85% of the total funds, and now we continue with our jewel mission. Yep, I think we've got a good launcher, except that I, every time I, I try and launch something, I've got a payload that's heavier than, than the launcher was meant to take. I need to stop making payloads that are so heavy. Uh, or, or I need to design a launcher that can accommodate boosters better, but we're right at the mass limit. We're at 140 tons. So I can't do too much to make it any larger. Mainsail is our most efficient engine. There's really not much I can do to improve the situation. Maybe dumping fuel actually to get some more thrust to weight ratio so that we can get up to orbit with less delta V. Okay, so Jewel. Oh dear, we, we got a Jewel, jewel encounter right there, but that's not a good one. That's better. Okay, 40,000 kilometers. Ah! Lathe periapsis. Ooh, we could air brake at lathe. Except I don't... Did we test air braking at lathe? I don't know what the, what the correct approach to air brake at lathe is. I'm gonna do this combination of burns. We've got 161.8 meters per second there. We can bring it in closer if we want to once we get over there. We'll just do this initial burn. I think we've done all of the... I mean, we did EVE. We checked that out. That was 70 kilometers. We checked out Tuna. That was 24 kilometers. We checked out Jewel, and that was uh, 190 kilometers. I really don't want to fail for a second time on getting this bop lander over there, but I sure think that checking lathe out would be interesting. Then we miss lathe due to battery, battery power running out. Um, no, that was uh, Tylo, you mean y yesterday, right? That was Tylo that we were trying to get on with. He's playing hard mode so he has to get right uh, in one try, yeah. That is correct. Now I have locked up this, this battery as suggested by everybody who ever watches me. 
Um, so just just for you to know. But Lathe, we actually successfully passed by, but but we aimed high. We didn't aim for its atmosphere. We were at uh, beyond 50 kilometers. Oh, we've got plenty of fuel on this stage. We should not go into escape velocity at this stage, though. Just want to get to about, a, let's say, a four-hour orbit. Maybe two-hour orbit. Maybe two-hour orbit is fine. The stream has been torture for you. I'm sorry. You know I try to please with uh, with disasters and failures. I mean, that's why uh, on my YouTube videos I've always included the times that I've failed. Certainly made transitioning into streaming much easier. Okay, let's try and get that lathe encounter again. This is gonna be a little bit touchy. It was totally by chance the first time. Oh, it's just not wanting to show me it. See, the, I, I, honestly, uh, landing on lathe wouldn't be such a bad thing. Uh, which is what will happen if I fail. I, I'm not afraid of deadly reentry, really. Um, what I'm really afraid of is escape. Not getting captured is more of the problem. Okay, uh, should mess with that second maneuver once you're actually. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. I'm totally gonna plot that, that uh, make course plane change again. Absolutely. Um, at least have a key you can hold while scrolling for precise note as it goes the same speed regardless. <laughs> yeah, the the scroll wheel is very irritating because it uh, varies its the intervals. Okay, we are on escape. We are now building up excess velocity. Okay, that's the end of that stage. Staging! Come on, staging! And ignition. Okay, well, we have an approach, at least. Well, let me just leave it there. And we will tweak this mid-course plane change after we get into uh, solar, or well, I can't call it solar, uh, Kerbal SOI. On track <laughs> madness. Okay, so let's make sure that we cross that boundary with as little fuss as possible. Okay, and that Microcharge continues to charge up. See, the problem with me is I always I, I play Realism Overhaul half the time and then come back to here half the time and then the time warp gaps are different. Why? And the gaps here are different too, right? It goes uh, five times, two times, uh, you know, the interval. Right, it's the first interval is five times more, and then the next interval is two times more, and then the next interval is five times more, and the next interval is two times more. It always messes me up. Okay, uh, name of this probe. The name of this probe is Bob Lander Probe. <laughs> Sorry, uh, you know how I am with names. You should have a Greek god name at least. What Greek god name would you give this thing? Poseidon if it lands on that lathe. Loki. I don't want it playing any tricks on me, so I'll, I'll pass on Loki. Any sun signs I'm missing? I don't think so. I guess we can check. That's only for recovery. I bet the thermometer is the same. Yep. Uh, mystery goo. 3.6 is not worth the mystery goo. Taiki, goddess of good luck and fortune. <laughs> okay. Uh, sounds good to me. Hope it doesn't take too much Delta V to 
slow down at Bob. It could do, depending on what kind of orbit we're slingshot at. Out of that. Okay, this is good enough for me. Well, we're somewhere between Lathe and Jewel. We'll tweak it once we get into Jewel's sphere of influence. Let's continue. Okay, okay, enough with the various deity names. Going through... Uh, Dante I like, though. Dante going through Fiery Abyss sort of thing. Yep. Uh, Dark Chaos likes Ares. I think something's already named for that particular deity. Something significant. Okay, long transit time ahead of us. I'm probably going to call it after the arrow breaking and we'll continue afterwards. Uh, we'll... I don't know if I'm gonna be streaming tomorrow. Probably I'll try to... I have to do some testing for, uh, for that Mars mission. I might stream that tomorrow. Do I want stock re-entry to be a bit more difficult? Well, I know we can turn it up. I mean, we can go into the menu and turn it up. I know that. So, uh, Alt F12, I mean. So, I, I, I don't know. I certainly think that maybe the hard difficulty level should have a harder re-entry situation. Yeah, apparently Dark Chaos has changed the atmosphere, yeah. So I'm playing with it at hard difficulty mode without changing any of the settings so that everybody knows what settings I have. Uh, but I think that maybe for the hard difficulty mode they should at least make the, the atmosphere deadly enough to require the heat shield. And you just saw me bringing back a huge transfer stage without any heat shielding. So... Obviously, in, in hard difficulty, I don't think that should have been as easy as it was. Yeah. What the... Oh! We've run out of electric charge except for this one. Okay, we have to access our emergency electric charge. Using gravity assist to slow down is something that will take me a long time to manipulate. Tomasino, so... And we haven't sufficiently nailed down exactly what the properties of Jules' atmosphere in terms of air breaking are. We know 190 is safe, but it brings us too low. Um, I'd like to immediately get into an orbit where my apoapsis touches bops. That'd be the ideal situation. Only DOS can do that. Are you guys daring me? Is that what's happening? <laughs> Saying only DOS can do that. Uh, but I'll leave it to him if that's the case. No, I, c I can do it, but I don't want to. That's, all. Well, that, I, that, that's my claim and I'm sticking to it. Oh, there's the life encounter. Yeah, I think uh, since I'm, it's either one or done. I'm gonna have to go with the jewel link, the uh, jewel uh, air break. Okay, I think well, I'll try 191. We will have to get closer for me to fine tune it. Well, I'm a little bit worried about my situation here. Let's let's face the sun properly and see if we can get. Uh, Recharged. Science. For science, you must kill the crap. No. Science. We've we've already done a lot of science around Jewel. I want to save the materials bay for the surface of Bob. Hopefully. Uh, as far as mystery goo and all the rest, I'm. Uh, well, we can, we can do ten. I guess we can uh, send ten over. It's not the greatest bounty ever. I've turned the lights off so I can barely see what's going on here. 
Uh, these have already been done. Not the no, no, not the science junior. There we go. Yep. Okay, just a little bit longer until the maneuver node. Isn't that a bit low? Uh, 190 kilometers is what we've been doing. Mitko, though it might be that this craft has more drag than the craft we've used before. That's possible. Okay, it looks like 191.357 is the number. Um, I, I'll take that. Let's see if that works out for us. It's a little bit risky. Is using a joystick in KSP worth it? You're considering buying one? Well, I have a joystick for a lot of things, so I just, I've just always had one. I, I don't know if uh, buying one... Uh, yeah, I'd say so. Yes. Yes, getting a joystick with twist rudder. So uh, you got three axes, right? Uh, pitch, yaw, and rudder control in the, in the main control. And throttles. Have I tried Linux to play 64-bit? Yes. Yes, I have a parallel Linux install on this computer. And I discovered something unfortunate. Hold on, let me get uh, error breaking music on. Okay, uh, yeah, uh, I discovered something very unfortunate, and that's that there are a lot of graphical glitches in Linux for AMD processors uh, on the GPU. The GPU, AMD, Radeons don't like OpenGL. And so that's the only reason I'm not streaming Linux 64-bit constantly, because it looks horrible. Yeah, so I, I do have the capability to use Linux, it just turns out that uh, there's graphical artifacts and no anti-aliasing for the AMD GPU. Okay, so the atmosphere starts at 200k. So there's official air braking now. And it's it's perturbing our orbit alright. And we want to get to Bop, but not before we hit Val. Uh, and possibly Tylo. Oh wait, Tylo's more important. So not before we hit Tylo. We, uh, well, let's bring us... Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Well, it got destroyed. Uh, stack decoupler. Stack decoupler. Okay, fair enough. Um, and uh, panels. Well, okay, I guess that was expected, wasn't it? Stack decoupler. Guess we had one left over? From where? How? Uh, well, our lights are overheating. S struts probably overheating. No, uh, it looks like the struts... Oh. Okay. Oh, boy. I think it's... I don't know. Stuff... Explosions making oh, making lag. Is that, oh yeah, that was from earlier in the launch. Correct. Yeah, the timing. I should have checked the timing. Okay, I think we've definitely lost our landing lights, right? Okay, explosions have at least cleared up. We're going back up now. Uh, we're still too tight. 191 is too low. Just lights though, we've got our landing legs for now. Solar panels and lights. Solar panels and lights. Yeah, who was it that suggested uh, downward facing solar panels that were bound to get exploded on us? Yeah. That that was a waste of funds right there. <laughs> uh, Dark Chaos wins. Yep, good explosions. Love it when plan falls apart. Well, we're not there yet. We're... 
severely impaired, I'll give you that. I think that's about the right idea. It'll cost a lot, though. We don't strictly need to boost that far out. Um, 120 is safe, but we've got this inclination issue. And I don't want to fix it here. Okay, we won't fix the inclination here. We'll just boost out to Lathe. How much Delta V do we have? We have 224 divided by 90, 2.48 tons of fuel. 2.4, almost 2.49. But I'll go with 2.48 for buffer. 2,600. Yeah, I got backspace. Uh, 2,600. Well, I think we can do this just fine. So, I'm going to boost like this, and then we're going to call it a uh, day. And we'll continue this either Wednesday or Saturday. Okay, well, solar panels are extended. Let's check if they're blocked by the fuel tanks. Well, this says direct sunlight, but we know uh, at a random point it'll say blocked by the fuel tanks. Well, this also gives us a technically safe dual periapsis. Okay, well, that inclination looks even worse. What is our periapsis at Lathe? Let's see if aiming at the maneuver node... Oh, no, that's the indicated one from there. Ah, uh, we don't have a Lathe periapsis. Okay, there we go. Alright, well, we'll have to tweak this a little bit more in order to get it satisfactory, but I'm gonna leave it there, folks. So. We have yet another Bob Lander. This is much more robust. It's got, well, it used to have more solar panels, but it's got a Science Junior, it's got more fuel, and uh, I think bigger lander legs as well. It survived, it uh, kept the lander legs, and we'll see how it does. All right, so with that, I'll say thank you for watching, and if you enjoyed this, this little session, please do consider following if you haven't followed already, and uh, we'll cut the music and we'll say, see you next time.